Okay, I want to go back to Rehoboam because I mentioned where he took uh, wives and everything. And um, you see, before that, in, in chapter 11 of Second Chronicles, it says that, And the priests and the Levites were in all Israel, resorted to him out of all their coasts. See, this is when they all came back to Judah, to Rehoboam. And um, for the Le Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and to in Jerusalem. And Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto Jehovah. And he ordained him priest for the high places and, the de and for the devils and for the calves which he had made. And after them, out of all the tribes of Israel, such as set their hearts to seek Jehovah, the God of Israel, came to Jerusalem. See, out of all the tribes, it says, verse 16, after them, out of all the tribes of Israel, <clears throat> such as set their hearts to seek Jehovah, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice unto Jerusalem uh, unto Jehovah, the God of their fathers. And they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, strong three years. For three years they walked in the way of David and Solomon. And see, so then it talks about uh, he gets these wives and these concubines and everything. And, um, you know, so he was pretty well established. And what happened to Solomon also happened to him, you see. And it came to pass when Rehoboam was established, had established the kingdom, and had strengthened himself, he forsook the law of Jehovah and all Israel with him. See, after he established his kingdom, and he felt peace, you see, then he... Let them that are standing beware lest they fall, you know. And then he uh, had a big fall. And God sent unto him uh, Shishak, the king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem because they had transgressed against Jehovah. These are the way, this is the way it is. Don't be deceived. Anytime you transgress against God, Jehovah, you're going to be punished. Don't believe the things that, oh, if you be sneaky and crafty and evil, you get ahead. Don't believe that. They might get ahead for a short while, you know. Just like Satan the devil, you know. God answered his questions. You want, you want answers to why I'm king? Okay, you, you have your kingdom, then. Let's see what happens. And these, all these people that rebel against God, they come to disaster. That's the facts. Of, that's the fa that's what the Bible teaches us. Now God doesn't interfere, as He did in the Old Testament, with the, any any uh, uh, single kingdom, you know. But He does deal in the affairs of men still, you know. He's still working with it because if He let it go wild unto Himself, it wouldn't last that long. He's got a. a uh, trim, you know, trim the branches, cut this branch off, cut this, you know, so the thing can still survive to, till the time when Christ returns. He still wants the system to survive, otherwise it wouldn't survive. So he still works in the affairs of men. And we want to do good to each other, do good to people. Because when you do evil to somebody, oh, you don't know what you're doing to that person. You might have destroyed their face in humanity. And they might give up and start doing evil. See, so then the, it comes back on you. What you responsible for? That's a heavy thing. When you when you when you let some evil, <clears throat> when you do evil against somebody, and you don't go to them and beg for forgiveness and try to remedy it, you know, that's the spirit of God. That's what God wants you to do. But if you say, ah, I don't care, you know, well then, you 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 might have stumbled that person. You might lead them into hell, man into destruction everything has a, a cause and a reaction you know and we have to treat everybody uh, with, with as if they were uh, jesus christ i mean you don't do wrong to, to any of them because they're his sheep we don't know who your sheep are but so you treat all men well you do good to your neighbor and then it's manifest who they are and who we are you know he forsook the law, and then uh, God sent him the Egyptians. And um, <clears throat> well, before this, you see, the the uh, uh, um, 
Rehoboam was going to come against Jeroboam, the kingdom of Israel. And God, and God says, don't go up against them because I'm, I tore them away. This is of me. I, I did this. So don't come up against Israel, told Rehoboam. And they didn't. They listened to God. They, they listened to the seer who came to, to uh, Rehoboam. See, the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, the man of God, saying, Speak unto Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king, kingdom of Ju king of Judah, and all, all Israel. And Judah and Benjamin, the Lord, ye shall not go up nor fight against your brethren. Return every man to his house, for this thing is done of me. And they obeyed the words of Jehovah and returned from going against Rehoboam. You see, you can't resist God. Even if you try real hard, he has the final say, you know. You, you can't succeed against God, you know. And that's what we're going to learn when the kingdom of God controls the whole world. We're going to learn that real good. But it even, it even works today, you know, to a certain degree. That's why we need to do good to love one another, do good to one another. So, um, after the, the uh, God sent the Egyptians against Rehoboam, so then came... Shema, Shemaiah the prophet to Rehoboam and to the princes of Judah that were gathered together to Jerusalem because of Shishak the Egyptian and said unto them thus saith Jehovah ye have forsaken me and therefore have I also left you in the hand of Shishak see never think that God doesn't, doesn't uh, uh, involve with us he's involved with us the same way as in the Old Testament you know, and if we forsake him, he forsakes us. Whereupon the princes of Israel and the king humbled themselves. And they said, Jehovah is righteous. You see? He says that Israel has humbled himself and, and said that I was righteous. See, so it changes all of the time. Even we might change in our lives. But we stick to the righteous side and don't give it up. That's our goal, you know. To do no sin, but to do righteousness all the time. And when Jehovah saw that they had humbled themselves, the word of Jehovah came to Shemaiah, saying, They have humbled themselves, therefore I will not destroy them, but I will grant them some deliverance. And my wrath shall not be a poor part upon Jerusalem by the hand of Shishak. So Rehoboam humbled himself then. <clears throat> and then, they, then he... he uh, the uh, He wouldn't allow the... Um, uh, the Egyptians to destroy Jerusalem, you know. Nevertheless, they shall be his servants, and they shall that they know my servants. So he made them servants to Egypt, that they, that they may know that I'm the king, you know, that my service is in my service that this is of. And she shook the king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem, took away the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king's house, and took all. He carried all away also the shields of gold which Solomon had made. And then Rehoboam made him shields of brass. <clears throat> and when he humbled himself, Rehoboam, the wrath of the Lord Jehovah turned from him, that he would not destroy him altogether. And also in Judah things went well. See, Never doubt it, man. What, you, what your life is a product of your service to God, if you're obedient to him or not. All this other garbage that goes on with the gangs, with the music industry, all of it's pretty much garbage, you know. I mean, that's what they want to feed you now. It doesn't matter. Your obedience to God is what matters. He blesses those that love him. We think, well, how about Jesus Christ, though? He was killed for his faithfulness. He suffered. Yeah, we have to suffer. But guess what? Look at the reward he was rewarded with. Sitting at the right hand of God to make, become the king and inherit the whole earth. See, that was his great reward. God rewards faithfulness. And he punishes wickedness every single time. Never doubt that. And... Um, so Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned. And Rehoboam was 41 years old and began to reign. Reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. And the city which the Jehovah had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel put his name there and his mother's name in Ammonitis. And he did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek Jehovah. And then he slept with his fathers and Abijah, his son, reigned in his place. Okay, let's uh, stop it here for a minute.